Hi everyone, it's Lauren here and I'm excited to be here to share with you a process video and I've called this one From White to Bright and the reason for that is I've got all these gorgeous white cut files. These are just leftover cut files that I've had and I've collected and just stored them into a little packet and I've got some beautiful inks from Pink Fresh Studio, all colourful and bright and I wanted to turn these white elements into something bright and happy to highlight these couple of sweet photos of my daughter and I at a little cafe that's just coming to town. It's a kind of a retro diner. It's got all the, the milkshakes and the booth and the, you know, the black and white and the old car, the front of the car. And, you know, it's a little bit of fun. And Katie just thought, I, mum, we need to go there. And so here we are at our first, we had breakfast of course, you've got to have a milkshake at your breakfast when you're at the diner. Um, our first breakfast at this retro diner. And I thought these cute little photos that we took just in the morning, I thought I'm just going to highlight that special fun little time we had and um, take these white, color white, white cut files and this white pattern paper and turn them from white into bright. So as you can see, I've just got a blending tool there. I have not gessoed my page. I know that was that was hard for me because usually I gesso everything, but I haven't gessoed my page because I knew this ink will sit on top of the page and not soak into the page. And I'm just using a blending tool. And as you can see, I am not an expert at this tool. I'm not, there is a def, there's definitely a technique to making this look really beautiful and have those colors transition. And I haven't learned it, but that's not stopping me from creating just a fun background that I can work on and create a nice colourful layout um, highlighting these couple of little photos. So I've started off with a baby pink into a more bubblegum pink, into a yellow, into an aqua, into a teal and into a blue and just sort of made that rainbow. And as you can see, just by putting those colours down, that white really just jumped off the page there. So those bright colours just transformed that white. Now, if you know me and you've been following me, I always love my splatters. I love to transition my main cluster of mixed media onto my background and I usually do that with a transition of colours. As you saw with those splatters, they just soak straight into the paper and that's because I haven't applied any gesso. They're not sitting on top, they're just getting soaked in. But I knew I wasn't too worried about it because I knew that I was only going to do a few splatters and um, I knew that it was just going to be a subtle little effect, not much liquid there at all. And as you can see, I'm just going to roll off that excess just to give that little subtle bit of a splatter and help me in my thinking and my mind just to help transition that look. The other fun little... Um, thing that I like to do every now especially when I'm using pigment inks like these is that you can splatter a little bit of water on and then soak it up and by soaking it up it also soaks that color pigment up and it's like you've got little white droplets there on the page so I'm just going to set that aside to dry now and then I'm going to start working on my photo cluster here and I've just got a couple of little frames I think these frames were from another cut file. You can see that there's some rounded edges there and I think I cut it out of a bigger, a larger cut file that had these frames incorporated into it. I'm sorry I don't know what these cut files are called. They are just simply leftovers from things I've cut out in the past and I've just had them there and I'm just going with my motto for 2021 which is use it or lose it. I'm doing a crafty clean out this year and I'm doing some crafty clean out videos so you'll have to check out those but I'm just going to use things up and these cute little frames I thought I'm just going to have a play with these on this layout as well as these other little cut file embellishments there so just sort of bring them to life and you know sort of separating them I'm just doing using a black uni ball pen which is my favorite journaling pen I'm just doing some little dashes which are sort of mimicking some stitches and as you can see just by doing that, I've draw, you draw your eye to the photos and it doesn't sort of, that, those frames don't sort of wash out there. So here I am, I'm pulling out some old stuff there. This one is an old crepe paper collection and I just wanted to use up some embellishments and this was a really colourful collection. So I'm just playing around here, setting it out, those cute little roller skating ones. 
uh, in this school holidays, because it's summer holidays here in Australia, I'm going to take the kids roller skating. So I've got those, my eye on those embellishments because there's definitely going to be some photo moments there seeing me on roller skates, that's for sure. Um, but I'm just going through these embellishments and picking out the most colourful things and some little pops of black just to bring it to life and help that stitching come to life and um, playing around with how I think I want to set it out. I'm not overthinking it. This is just a layout just to play. If this doesn't work, it is completely fine. It's a piece of paper, um, just a little bit of ink and a couple of photos, which I can always reprint again. So I'm just sort of going with it. I had no plan. I'm just sort of playing other than white to bright. That was my only plan. And I'm just playing around. So I think this collection here, it oh, maybe it's not a crepe, pla crepe paper collection, but it says cutie girl. So if you've is it a crepe paper collection? You guys out there might be able to tell me and let me know in the comments. But I had those embellishments there. I also had picked up some um, alphabets there from Typo. I don't end up using them, but they had a bit of a retro feel. And how cute are those little epoxy heart stickers there? They're from Doodlebug and I wish I'd bought 10 packets of them. You'll see me shortly going heart crazy to finish off this layout and I just love them. So as you can see, I've used some foam tape behind my photos and I've set out where my well, my embellishments are so they sort of wrap around my photo. I want to keep it nice and tight because I want to um, still not take away from all that beautiful colouring work that I did with the blending tool and I'm just sort of having fun with my clusters. This here is sort of the main section. This is sort of the first, first step in building your scrapbooking layouts and then after that, that's when you get to play and add those extra little bits and pieces here and there. I'm really excited about my idea around using up my goodies um, and my 2021 motto of just, you know, using it, um, getting, doing a crafty clean out and using up my bits and pieces. And what I've found is that the layouts that I'm making with that in mind, I'm just using everything. I am using up all those pretty things that I want to hoard away. I'm just sticking them down. There's no holding back and I'm just using things up. I'm not going to be, I'm not, this year is not the time where I'm going to save and hoard things. I'm going to try and be really good and I'm going to try and use things up and not buy too many treats. I know that I will have to buy some, but not buy too many treats, but really either I create with it or it's got to move on. It's either got to go to um, uh, my gorgeous Katie, who is loving getting creative with me, or it's going to go to another crafter, or it's going to get donated, or it's going to have to go to scrapbooking embellishment heaven. And um, it's got to it's got to clean out by the end of the year. I'm going to have a really detox craft room, and I'm really excited about it. This favorite cut file that you see here that definitely looks like a Heidi Swap kind of font. So I'm assuming I've got that from her at some stage. Maybe check out if you really love that word favorite. Um, it, it does look like Heidi Swap, or it could be. Hmm. Yes, leave that one with me. I might have to add a comment, but it does have a bit of a Heidi, Heidi font there. So maybe check out her website if you're really keen for that favorite there. And those flowers, I'm sorry, once again, I have no idea. I've had though these um, thickers in store in my stash for so long and when I saw them I thought oh yeah they got a bit of a retro feel about them so I thought yep I'm going to use that one as my um, main kind of inspiration title and as you'll see this layout will come together with three different fonts to form the title so a multi-font layout multi-font title which is a bit of fun which is going to be favorite retro diner those little black um, typewriter font stickers there by Tim Holtz and they've been a fabulous like staple in my collection for umpteen years and they'll continue to be so I just love them but what I wanted to do is I've got diner there I didn't want to not have a few other black features around the layout so uh, the kiss and the cuddle near the flower there that that ties that in a little bit adding the year there 2021 onto the photo that ties that font in a bit and it just sort of brings that continuity uh, uh, on the layout there so I'm just using my favorite uh, wet glue which is the Nouveau 
um, wet glue. It's really anything that's got a diamante on the top of the lid is going to be a favourite with me. But it dries clear and it's and it dries fast and it's perfect for your cut files because it has that really thin tip and it's perfect for backing when you're backing your cut files. That's a really great little one. Just pulling out some um, reinforcing tabs, just some white ones, got them from my local office supply place and I thought I would trace around those in black and just add a little bit of interest and once again tie that black in. It also gives a bit of a, um, a different feel, different kind of texture on the layout adding some little dashes there to imply stitching which ties in with the frames and as you can see just by adding those pops of embellishments there you um it all sort of comes together now here's the fun part here i've got this cute little cute little sticker pad which was one of um the sticker pads that came in the hip kit club um subscriptions over the last couple of years and um i think it's a page evans one yep what's that i think it was whimsical that quick flash there and um it's a great little sticker pad really versatile and i'm just going through my stuff i'm using it up how cute are those puffy stickers and i don't use any of those i want to but i don't use any of those um, I'll save them for something other, some other fabulous layout and I'm just here tying in these last little detailed features. This here would have to be one of my favourite stamp sets. It's a Felicity Jane stamp set. It has a scripty font for the months and it also has a text font for the months. So it's a really versatile little um, stamp set and I'm going to be trying to use that over the next 12 months with my layout and how cute is that little January font there and just tying those different fonts in and those different kind of embellishments to sort of bring it all together really just brings your layout together and it sort of just clusters that little cluster there together as I talked about earlier my blending techniques aren't that great with the thing with the blending tool and the inks that's something that I'll have to work on but as you can see it just it wasn't it didn't need to be fabulous because all it was going to do is sort of pop out the edges and sort of carry that rainbow effect around the layout um, these little heart stickers these ones are from an old school collection oh what is that collection that was a really sweet little collection I think that might have been another crate crate paper one was it hey girl let me know off the comments if I got that wrong. But once again, using things up and I just had all these great little title words and they're all girl power and um, confidence stuff. And I went, yep, yeah, got to use those with my girl and any kind of um, selfie uh, photos with my girl. I'm always looking for really positive messages, positive um, confident building um, themes and you can see it's all coming together. Just those few little titles there that are relevant to our experience. And now I'm going to finish off by adding some of these super sweet little epoxy doodlebub heart stickers. And yeah, they're so teeny tiny. You can just hide them everywhere and they just sort of bring that magical, that little bit of sparkle to life and the different colours. I just love them. I just love them. I'm going to have to get some more packets of them. I surely, surely am. Um, and there's my layout done. If you're new to my channel, a big welcome. This is going to be a great year if you want to be a subscriber with me. We're going to create together. We're going to use up our crafty supplies. We're going to have fun. We're going to make stress-free layouts. And I really hope you consider being a subscriber. If you'd like to um, support my channel, becoming a subscriber, liking this video and sharing this video with your scrappy friends is a great way to help my little channel grow. And it really inspires me to create new content for you guys. All right, guys, here it is. Happy scrapping, guys, and take care. All right. Bye.